in the United States there uh, have been infections of avian influenza in, in dairy cattle. Uh, till now I think there are about 35 uh, farms infected. Uh, and the transmission from a, a cow to cow is, has probably gone through milk. Uh, the first risk is that uh, it's uh, further spreads among cattle. So that's what I try to control at the moment. Uh, uh, well, there are uh, uh, trans uh, transport uh, uh, bans. Uh, ca cows are not allowed to be transported. And uh, uh, the other important problem is that there may be contaminations of milk. So people are advised to, uh, to heat the milk before they drink it. Because uh, there are contaminations of milk, the, the main fear is from people that, there are, that they are, will, may be infected through milk with avian influenza. Uh, but of course, uh, authorities are, and also the farmers are afraid that it may transmit to more farms and also uh, cause a wider epidemic and, and cause a wider epidemic of avian influenza in, in cattle. Well, what happens in this kind of situation is that some countries fear that they may introduce the virus with either animals or products of animals. So what countries do is they close their borders for this kind of products. And I heard that it already happened in Colombia, but it, it is possible that more countries will close their borders for American products coming from cattle. Well, I think it's very important uh, that we try to find out how the transmission really went. So uh, how the virus is transmitted between cows. So there is research done on, uh, on, uh, on tissues uh, to see how uh, other tissue of cattle is infected or uh, how much virus there is replicated in other tissue. So that's, uh, that's an important, important uh, uh, investigation track. And uh, also important is to make sure that you have all testing in place to test uh, milk for viruses, but also cattle for avian influenza virus. And that's what uh, the, the people are doing at the moment in the United States. Most likely the cows were infected through infected birds. So the cows may have been in contact with infected birds in, in, in the area where they uh, walk around. Uh, but I think it's more likely this has gone through food. So probably uh, uh, products of uh, birds or uh, uh, feces of birds got into food that is fed to cattle. And uh, this is a way that cattle could have been infected with avian influenza virus. Avian influenza is an RNA virus. That, that means that it mutates all the time. So in former outbreaks of avian influenza, we have seen cases of people, not very much, uh, luckily. But uh, the, the fear is when the virus more adapts to mammalian species that the risk for humans will also increase. So there, and, and that's also why we need to follow this very closely. See what strains develop and see how infectious they are for what kind of species, including humans. Well, uh, what could happen is that the, the virus strains that, that is now circulating in the US comes to Europe through birds also. Uh, or strains that are more close to that variance. Uh, at the moment, there is not so much circulation in, uh, in, in Northwest Europe, so the, the risk is rather low. But if there is more, uh, more circulation, in, uh, let's say in autumn or winter, uh, the risk may increase that we also see uh, uh, infections in cattle. 